Hi, this is Robin from Spokane, Washington. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on TJV. father-in-law Jerry and I are just leaving the Casey's truck stop here in uh, I think it's called Pillager, Minnesota. About to head east into Brainerd, Minnesota where we both have to unload our lumber loads. We got two different locations though. So we're gonna unload his first. And once his is unloaded then we go across town and they want mine unloaded there. We'll do them one at a time like that. And that way, everything works out just fine. And then both of us have a reload uh, in Indiana. Like I've been saying the past couple of days. We'll head down there today, pick those up tomorrow, and head home. Gonna get myself onto the road here. I am way too nice. I'm too nice. I also have Jerry following me behind me and I don't want to lose him in traffic. Then he knows where we're going. I mean, he doesn't have to be right behind me. Oh, this is a busy road. Okay. See, this is what happens when you're nice. <laughs> you get held up. Way too nice. Way too nice, Trevor Josh. Okay, two more cars, two more cars, that's it. That's where my niceness runs out. Two more cars, three, three more cars. Okay, after this Dodge. Nope, okay, one more. After this truck, Pensk. Oh, after that pickup, okay. Okay, we'll get there guys, we'll get there. Hang tight, after that car. Oh, I'm going for it now, I'm gonna send it. Unnecessary weight on my part. Rolling into Brainerd. Lots of flags flying everywhere. They love their flag in the US. Good for them. They should. Good for them. I love my flag too. Brother countries, you know? Two brothers from the same mother. Like I was saying yesterday though. The U.S. just decided to be a constitutional republic with democratic institutions. In Canada, we decided to be a constitutional monarchy with democratic institutions. Both have our own constitution. You hear about the U.S. Constitution a lot more than ours. But that's because there's a lot more people. America likes to export their culture and uh, their movies around the world, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. I like that. Canada just doesn't have as much influence. We just sort of do whatever Big Brother America does. <laughs> whatever he's doing, we're cool. Cool with that. That's how it seems sometimes. I'm, I'm generalizing. I'm just having fun here. Very friendly countries. Very friendly countries. Nice town. Any of you from Brainerd, Minnesota? By any chance? That'd be pretty cool. I'm in your town. Very nice. I like what you've done with the place. Very nice. That's gonna hurt if she wipes out on that skateboard. I'll tell you what. Anybody got? Anybody want some wood? I got some wood. You want some wood? No. Anyone down there? Someone building something? Got your wood for you. All the way down from the great land of Canada. That's 
true 100% Canadian lumber behind me there. Put a big maple leaf stamp on it. Not even made in China. That wood was made right in Canada. And when that happens, you gotta take note. Something was made here. We grow our own trees. At least we got that. Okay, here's our customer. I think I gotta turn in here. I'll talk to you guys in a bit, okay? I gotta figure out where to go. Ah. Ah. Empty. Load complete, another satisfied, happy customer. And Jerry's truck's right there. Empty, complete, another happy customer. Two happy customers in one day. Actually, one happy customer, two deliveries. Two different locations, same place. You get it. So now we're just doing our paperwork. We're getting everything set up, put together. Make sure that we're ready to go, know where we're going. And we're gonna head off to Indiana. A little bit of a long hike, but it's okay. That's what we gotta do. So uh, let's get moving, eh? Shall we? So far, I think he's having a really good time. He's really enjoying it. The next load will be uh, utility trailers, I believe. Those are always fun to tie those down. They're very light. And they damage very easy, so you gotta be very careful with them. But we'll be fine. Just about ready to roll out. Speed limit 20 when children are present, otherwise it's 30. How do you know if children are present? There might be children in that house. I guess if you can see kids, but what if they're hiding behind a bush? Are they gonna give you a ticket? Because a child was present, but you were doing 30 miles an hour and not 20. That's confusing. I mean, make up your mind, either it's 20 or it's 30. If you wanna be safe, just make it 20. Or give like a time, you know? In Manitoba, where I'm from, I'm not saying we're any better, but I mean, we're, the way we do it in school zones is between the hours of what? 7.30 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. In school zones, speed limit's 30 kilometers an hour or 20 miles an hour, Monday to Friday. Anytime outside of those hours or on the weekends, speed limit's normal, like 50 kilometers an hour or whatever, whatever the speed limit is. So that way you can just look at the clock and be like, okay, I'm in a school zone, it's during business hours, gotta slow down. I'm not guessing whether or not, oh, are there kids present today? Is school out today? Is school on today? Know what I mean? I don't know, I, I, I guess I'm just used to that. Washington Street, eh? Washington, who is this Washington character? Washington, sounds like someone important. We had to do a little bit of a detour in Brainerd because the highway south of here, 371 south, is closed. So we gotta go up here, go around and go on the 210, I think. 210 this way, yep, and then go south down another road. It's the way it is, that's the way the cookie crumbled today. What a nice town though, really nice. Brainerd, you're impressing me, very nice. Let's go. Watch out Mr. Pickup, my trailer's gonna come that way. Try to keep it out of his side. Oh yeah, he's smart. He got it, he got it. Brainerd, Minnesota, full of smart people. I like it. Give him a little wave. Smart guy, drives a Chevy. Of course he's smart. Sweet corn, oh, that makes me hungry. Look at all the watermelons, oh my. I'm gonna go out and 
say it. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the call. Hashtag impressed. Nice town. Is that Paul Bunyan again? That guy's just everywhere. It's like a Minnesota legend. He's a staple in every Minnesota home. Does everybody have like a little statue of Paul Bunyan in their home in Minnesota? Is that how it works? Where, where can I get one? I want to be an honorary Minnesotan. I need a Paul Bunyan statue. Would it work if I just had a picture or do I have to have a statue? I don't know the rules.
vlogging and my vlog just started playing on my phone it's a sign I don't know of what I'm way too tired to know we're in uh, oh Illinois somewhere <laughs> we, we got close to the end of our hours of service our 14 hour day today <laughs> I brought my father-in-law Jerry right to the edge and showed him what trucking was all about <laughs> I literally had zero minutes when I clicked it on to sleep or birth. Zero minutes, I had nothing left. Parked, sleep or birth, right here. We made it, uh, let's find out in the town that we're in right now. We're on I-80, we're going around Chicago. It's a little bit further around, but it was either that or deal with Chicago traffic tomorrow morning. So we figure we're gonna burn 45 minutes in Chicago tomorrow anyways, if we go through the city, why not burn it going further around to the down the 39 to the 80 and then go across that way then at least we have more open highways and not dealing with traffic and chicago drivers right so we're in a town called uh ottawa what do you know this canadian trucker is in ottawa we're back in illinois Ottawa, Illinois. This Ottawa isn't nearly as exciting as our Ottawa, especially in wintertime. He had two minutes left on his clock, so I brought him to within two minutes of being out of service. <laughs> he was following me. I guess he started his day two minutes after I started. We started together this morning. Oh, what a day. In Canada, those of you who don't know, Ottawa is our nation's capital. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.